And what's good, y'all? This your boy, Fresh, hitting y'all off with some of that Call of Duty Ghost, the game that everybody loves to hate but tolerate. And this is Domination on the Map Fog. And it was me, Stunner 420, and Borat got skills. And Borat just left us halfway through the game. He just up and disappeared. At the end of the game, I was like, yo, where's Borat? And everybody just shrugged their shoulders. He probably unplugged his PS4 set it down into the middle of his living room and then jumped off his couch and Hulk Hogan leg dropped that bitch into a million pieces and I'm just messing around but he had every right to leave he had every right to be pissed off as we went up against the ultimate camping crew the bane of my existence when trying to attain high kill streaks the people that are the poison of this community the people that use all the cheese that infinity ward implemented into this game and they use it well and for me I'm just confused now as to is it the community or is it the way the people play or is it a culmination of both and I look at Activision and I look at their record for games that they publish and I look at Guitar Hero for example and they just spam the shit out of Guitar Hero use that cash cow until everybody was just uninterested in that game and I'm looking at Call of Duty and I'm seeing that Call of Duty is pretty much heading down that road. And Activision just does not give a fuck about that. They're going to milk this game until they can't milk it anymore. Until we just decide not to buy this game anymore. And that's the sad thing when it has to come to that. As I would rather play a Call of Duty that comes out every four years than to play a Call of Duty that comes out every year and then just to see all you guys disappointed and for me it really doesn't matter a video game to me is just a video game i'm fresh that's why they called me that i'm fresh to death in everything that i do even in real life and i put my real life priorities over the video game priorities and i can just accept all this shit for what it is at the end of the day but I know that a lot of you people care about this game and I care about it to a certain degree but for me I just don't care about it as much as the next man might care about it as hey I have a daughter to take care of and all this shit could end for me at any moment if you can understand that or respect that and for me I run a small channel a 375 sub channel I run my channel like I have 200,000 subs and a lot of people don't realize that when they look at small channels that there are not that many channels out there that are the complete package that have well thought out commentaries and high quality gameplay in the background while they're talking and people just don't realize that because they just expect you to be good like Ali A and T Martin just right out the gate they expect you to be perfect out the gate they expect you to be a robot they expect you to be an Indian and not a chief and I don't really accept that I don't take that as I try to set myself apart from a lot of other commentators in what I do and how I do things and how I run my channel as I try to be smooth but yet I try to be professional and you can't blame a brother for being a perfectionist when it comes to his videos but that's just how it goes small channels are always going to be put down to the wayside but hopefully some of us will blow up one day and we'll be able to voice our opinions to a mass audience but thank you for tuning in and this is your boy fresh and i'm out peace